All right, so I think this is what we're going to do. It's uh, the 15th of uh, February, and this and this could be pretty tragic for the Allies if uh, it all comes together for the Italians. Uh, down here, we have moved forces from here and paid the, the movement cost, obviously, enough, and uh, shuffled them down past, down, basically coming down this way, and we've tried to surround this uh, HQ. And I can't remember what was in that HQ. It's been two or three days. I think it's reasonably strong, but I... I'm not sure. It might be some battalion. In fact, you know what? And here's what I'm going to declare that I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, use my artillery that I moved down to here. One, two, three, one, two, three. And it is going to try and DG this stack and um, possibly attack it. Am I going to attack it or not? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yes, I will. I think. Maybe. Um, truck. Truck. Ooh. So that's the first unit I can see is a 1420. Hmm, yeah, we're definitely, we're going for it. We're gonna, we're gonna attack this. If I attack this, man, we might, uh, that might be the whole shooting match at this early stage of the game. It could be ugly. If we blow this up, all these guys will be out of supply. So that's, that's the plan for the Italians. So this was a, while it was a bold stroke, it was obviously a fairly high risk stroke uh, strategy for the Allies. Now. The Italians, not uh, content with just that, they've pulled this uh, three med uh, battalion, tank battalion up, and a, some arty, and uh, another MG battalion, and this this dude here, the uh, Bologna, that's the, Bol the Bologna, they're going to come up and they're going to uh, attack up the hill, at the very least, if they don't attack, they're going to uh, cause some problems there with zones of control. Because what we want to do is make it expensive in terms of movement points to get uh, supply in to trace these guys because they're kind of strung out, right? Uh, we put some guys out of action with uh, airstrikes. Uh, there's another one just there. And we're trying to scramble to build a line while still maintaining some sort of integrity there. Clearly, what the British have done has forced us to react, which is, uh, uh, I guess, good enough. Now, interesting to note, if we look all the way, all the way over there, you can see Rommel's stack, and he is in reserve mode, in strat mode. And uh, that's his, the first quarter of his movement. So he is going to be uh, 20 movement points or 16 movement points. We're going to move at the slowest rate of the stack. He's going to be, uh, they're going to be up here in no time. I thought it was going to take three or four turns to get in, but no, they're going to be right about there somewhere, right there, I think, by the time they hit the hit town. So it's, it's exciting. All right, I'll be back. I'm going to go roll some dice and see who dies. So as we continue to look at uh, what's going on here, the I've got a truck here that has the supply, and really I can only uh, I can only supply uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're okay. uh, supply f four units, not five. So he's not going to participate in the attack, and the the defending forces, it's all trucks, right? Except for this one guy. And because he has a red box, that means he is light anti-tank or whatever it is. And so that's going to negate uh, this doubling and, and it just is a one and a half times uh, the combat factor. So we have a net of 10 factors versus two factors. Uh, this is one because it's flipped over. Uh, he's in move mode. And uh, we're going to use this guy's AR rating of four. So it's 2v10. And that means that there's an 86% chance that we are going to get a step loss for the Allies and only a 13% chance that the Italians will take a loss. So let's see what we get. And indeed, lose one option two and an exploit four. So lose one option two, well, they have to, uh, they have to take, uh, whoa, you know, they're going to have to take their option because they can't retreat into a hex that is free of his own control. So that HQ is gone, excuse me, and we now uh, move into the hex that we captured, and that will uh, allow us to, um, allow us to try and capture the trucks. Now, I have just realized something. 
I got a little bit ahead of myself, and I will be I'll be right back. You can probably guess which phase I forgot to do. Yeah, in order for everybody to be in trace supply, this guy needs to actually be here in this hex, and because uh, that's what we didn't uh, <laughs> we didn't do the supply phase. Got a little excited, sorry. Uh, so uh, it, neither here nor there at the end of the day because. Uh, we're, we're tracing supply. Let me just zoom out a little bit for you. Tracing supply from here. There's HQ right there. And that is, uh, I think it's eight hexes right to here. Truck movement points. So um, everybody is in supply. Uh, goes through zone control. Crap. So he is not going to be in supply. That's going to reduce that number by one. So let's make that a nine instead of a ten, and see what that does. If that changes the percentage chance of something happening, we will. It does not change the percentage chance of something happening. Uh, so we will keep that attack the same. Yeah, it doesn't change the. Let me just check that. Yeah, it doesn't change the. So what we'll do is we'll make him attack there. But that does. Let the HQ survive. He can retreat. And he'll retreat with his trucks to here. Because he now has a place to go with his option one result. Ooh, that was lucky bastard. All right. Uh, and I'm going to go recheck that movement because I really wanted to kill that HQ. All right. Uh, let me see what else did we... And we're not really going to attack anything else. I am just going to do a barrage attack on... on the, no, I'm not going to waste the SP actually now that I think about it. I'm really low on supply. In Bardia, I have one SP, I have one T left in Solemn, and I have maybe 15 in uh, Tobruk, but uh, it's going to take, uh, it's going to be at least another one, two, three, four turns before I bring any more SP onto the board because of the number of reinforcements that I have. So it's getting uh, getting kind of time for the, uh, for the access forces. And I will go and make sure that I've done all this correctly, and I'll update you if I have not. Otherwise, it's on to the 19th of Feb. All right, just to keep everything kosher, it is in fact uh, seven and a half movement points to there. But I can I can get this guy into the combat in trace and still block these guys off. Right, what I do here is just uh, I move these four units up. All I need to do is uh, is peel one off and put him in move mode and put him here, and that will allow us to carry our trace from there. Because remember, it's got we've got that one hex uh, latitude for. Uh, for counting the, the distance to the trace line. And in fact, I'm a complete dumbass, right? It doesn't matter. Look, it's five movement points to a primary road. So these guys are from here. It's one, two, three, four, five. So we're fine. So there we go. Been all bent out of shape, trying to make things happen, and we don't even need to worry about it because it's to a road, not to a rail or to a HQ. It can be to an HQ, but it doesn't have to be to an HQ, and I always do that. I always get uh, spun up over stuff like that. Okay, I think that's the that's where we're going to do reserve movement exploit, whatever it is. And uh, I don't believe I'm going to do this attack here. I just want to put put pressure on these forces. We don't need to attack. 